at us talking sports like real men. Uh, yeah. Isn't this well, awesome? Something around so sports. Well, well, <laughs> hey, you know who wants to talk sports with you? <laughs> Mad Dog Russo. He's got a bone to pick with you, I believe. Okay, good. This is You know who Mad Dog is, right? Uh, I'm very good course. friends. Oh, you are? Yeah. I go on a show. <laughs> hey, man, Don. There's my pals. Yeah. That's our Joe. I have to take umbrage with you. you okay. Today, you chastise these players and the association for these dopey celebrations they have to touchdowns. Right. And you have the goal to call them out of the match when they don't even get out of the locker room. Now, fair and fair. Yeah, national anthem. <laughs> now, national anthem. Uh, I understand right. you say that they're not honoring the flag. Now, give me a break. Go ahead. I, I mean, did Roosevelt Greel? And all of a sudden, Jack and Jackie Slater, did they ever take a knee? And this was when tumultuous times in the 60s yes. and in the 70s. Yes. They, had, they had to go through those players. And now these jackoffs, these millennials who are molly coddled, and the owners. <laughs> <laughs> now, me. now, you, now, what about uh, Tom Brady's father? No, I don't want to talk about Tom Brady. He's no. a Trump supporter. And then he comes out and tries to play both sides of it. I mean, what is this? Is, this is terrible. Is so problem, you're on God. fire with this. This is going to be a big show for you today. You're going to really lash out at people. And, and Roger Goodell and the owners. I mean, <laughs> President Trump called a son of a bitch. How many times have you been called worse in your life by your father, right? Right. Whatever yeah, you just I, said, I, I, I have no idea. And he's, and he's, right. he's complaining about being called a son of a bitch. I've been called a lot worse in my life. Now, what are some of the things you've been called? Oh, I've been called a horse's ass. I've been called uh, right. a, a patso and a fruit loop because I right. play tennis with white shorts. So you're making a lot of sense, right? And they are break. All right, there he is. And man. then they have the audacity to get on the, the audacity to sit there and not even come out to take that. I understand that you shouldn't have a <laughs> pledge of allegiance. Right. So I understand the point right. you made about not having a national anthem. Right. I, can, I can understand right. that. Right. But the fact that they're doing it, you got a guy on the Arizona Cardinals who went to war for this country and didn't even play it. I dishonored his contract for the to play the other boot. They didn't even, didn't even play one step to say boo. He didn't make fun of a loo. And then you've got, you've got these jackoffs playing and they're not even, not even playing a No wonder you're the number one sports guy. Thank you so much. All right, there he is. Wow. He wow. really, he really summed it up, didn't he? That's some impression, isn't it? It's incredible. Yeah. And I don't know if that, and by the way, Fantastic that you just stopped him. Yeah, sense. well, we had enough. We all yeah. knew it. We, it, was, we, we it know this is your moment. It's not no, Sour it's Shoes. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm happy to share the stage. But Sour with, Shoes with is sour. a genius. He, a genius. genius. You know why it's great? Because the it's not just the information. It's not just the voice. It's it's what he's saying. Yeah, it, he it does makes know sense. something, right. He knows stuff. So when he's doing Gary or when he does that, it's just it's it's fantastic. And you know what else is great? Here is a guy, as great as he is, Probably grounded now for using the phone. Right. It's a great story. But he's it's just the mad genius. I, I could listen to that all day. Yeah, I'm with you. What does Absolutely. Chris think of that? Does he like it? Chris I don't know. I, it, what, did, what did Chris tell me? I mean, it? I would be so flattered if Sour Shoes could come up with anything. But have you like ever that. had anyone draw a caricature of you and it's so ugly and horrible? Oh, my God. It's like, like, could you make my head bigger? Right. So maybe, maybe... Like the real mad dog looks at that and says, "Oh, that, that's that's not what I sound like. I make total sense." See, there's no way it's so good. Even he's got to go. Yeah, that's it. But let's get back to the origin of all this. Uh, Halabaloo.